All right, traders, what's going on? This is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. And today we have a very special video from Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader in MIC chat, one of our top moderators. And he, every Sunday, puts together a fundamental series. And today he's going to do a deep dive into the ticker symbol PRPO. And it ran recently. So let's take a look. Also, while this is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's uh, Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video. Hope you guys had a nice uh, Cinco de Mayo weekend. Uh, a lot of things moving this week. Uh, one that kind of caught my eye uh, as far as kind of fundamentally was PRPO, uh, one of the myriad of names that have had a recent reverse split but just a few things i wanted to go over um there's a little bit of a deeper dive in it and kind of a bigger picture that i uh, um kind of saw from a couple of the registration statements and uh you know kind of just uh behind the move um so first off it's i'm trying to see prpo not really sure what they do it's in healthcare They've had a few prs come out uh this week they're trying to regain compliance they can never hold the uh, dollar bid so <clears throat> they announced uh, an expansion strategy, and what was the last one? It was a hospital, yeah, hospital deal in Egypt. So we've had a couple PRs, and then the third one, I guess, they completed the Nasdaq hearing, uh, did the reverse split. So coming in here, it's a bigger company. I mean, a little bit bigger of a company than a lot of us. Uh, you know, a lot of the names moving. Um, you know, when it was at eleven bucks, I think it was over hundred million dollars uh, market cap. But let me jump into it. So. <clears throat> The last two registration statements, S1 and S3, um, the S1, uh, if you scroll down here, you can just see it's a resale secondary of 15 million shares. Um, again, don't get that confused with $15 million, but it's uh, Lincoln Park Capital. So if, you haven't, if you're not familiar with the name, um, actually a Chicago-based firm here that does a lot of uh, uh, securities purchase agreements, or SPAs as I'll call them. I'm not 100% sure if I've went over them before, but... These are unregistered, hence why this is in an S1. So um, the original deal, I'll get into it, but it's uh, $10 million. And basically how these SPAs work, guys, um, basically that gives the company, so PRPO, uh, just the right to put securities um, to the investor and it's at a maximum price. So it has a cap on it, on how high they can um, make them buy it, basically. But uh, yeah, they just kind of do it at will. There are limits on daily and how much they can do um but it's so it's it's kind of, it's very similar in nature to how an atm works but they're unregistered so this once it gets effect um they can you know dump these shares but there hasn't been a whole lot of volume so this one was on uh, february so you kind of come <clears throat> to the chart um you know even since really august to april so i mean you know one two three four five six seven months there hasn't really been any volume for them to dump it um, you know, the things had a nice move from, uh, you know, the low twos, hit 11 as a high, kind of coming in near some daily resistance, maybe some people that were uh, bag holding or selling it. But um, regardless, uh, let me, that's basically um, it with the S1. The S3, however, if you got that one pulled up, it's a little bit more, um, you got to kind of do some, uh, you know, deciphering of what it is. So again, you got to account for the reverse split. So it was 15 to one. Um, so this one had, uh, let's see, 42 million shares and uh, 31 million were conversion of notes. And then the other 11.3 million of shares um, are issuable from the exercise of warrants. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.